Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon here, and today I want to talk about Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit is a movie written and directed by Taika Waititi, who also uh, plays one of the main roles in this movie. He plays uh, Adolf Hitler. Yeah, so this movie is about uh, Jojo, who is a kid who is a uh, who's a kid in Nazi Germany, and he is. Um, at least he thinks he's a Nazi. Um, and he kind of, like, has these... These, like... It, basically, Hitler is, like, his imaginary friend. Obviously, Hitler is, like, a real person in this uh, universe and, obviously, in, you know, actual life, even though, you know, he's obviously dead. But, um... He like talks to Hitler in his like in like his his head, um, and just like this movie is hilarious. Like if you have any sense of humor at all, you should love this movie. Um, Scarlett Johansson plays a big role in the movie. Um, there is a little girl who plays you know a Jew um, who's like living in. Uh, Jojo and and uh, and Rosie. Rosie is Charlotte Johansson's character. There, she's living in their attic, hiding from you know the other Nazis. And she's great in this movie. Really, everybody does a fantastic job in this movie. Uh, Stephen Merchant, um, uh, Sam Rockwell, just everyone just does a fantastic job in their role. Uh, Rebel Wilson also is in this movie. So yeah, everyone, every actor or actress or whatever you want to say uh, does a fantastic job in this film. And I am so happy that I saw this film. Really, I don't have any real negatives from my point of view. Um, this was, you know, obviously a comedy. And it, it, in my opinion, it fires on every cylinder when it comes to that. So I'm happy to uh, say that this uh, highly anticipated paid movie for me uh, is uh, is great in my opinion. And from my opinion, actually, I think it's if it's not my fa if it's not my favorite movie of the year, it is it is really really high. It's like two or three, maybe four. But I think it might be my favorite. This movie was just so much fun and uh, and uh, filled with just everything that it needed to be filled with. Um, great, a good acting, uh, great direction from Taika Waititi, and just um, and just overall, like the cinematography was good. Just everything about this movie shows me why Taika Waititi is great at what he does, and that shows me why I can't wait for the next Thor film. I I could literally talk about this movie probably for hours, but I, I would have to give spoilers away to do that, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not giving anything away that's in this movie. Uh, go see it. Really, just go see it. Uh, I'm giving this movie... I didn't say any negatives, if you didn't notice. I'm giving this movie a 10 out of 10. And there's not very many movies I would give a 10 out of 10. But right now, I think that that's where I'm at. If I see it again and I see something that I don't like, then uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll change my score a little bit. But that's what, where I'm at right now, 10 out of 10. I don't think that this movie had any flaws, in my humble opinion. Um, and that's really all I have to say uh, today. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter in the link in the description below. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.